After overtime, Phantoms 5, Bracknell Bees 4. I haven't said this for a long time, Mr Weldon. Never in doubt? No, never in doubt. Um, we obviously didn't have the best start tonight. Uh, sort of a quarter timeout midway through the second period. And after that, we uh, we found we found our rhythm and we, we started playing. Um, the goals didn't come straight away. But Paddy likes to give the fans their money's worth. So he waited till the last 10 minutes to do it on his own. Yeah, Paddy, not bad, um, but where, we, we were waiting for 55 minutes for those. Where were they for you know, the, the early part of the game? We, were, we, we looked like we were struggling a little bit through the second. Yeah, I, I think we did because uh, I think we had, let's say, easy opponents on the weekend. Games were a bit easier. I think it just stayed in our heads. And uh, let's be honest, uh, two goals of those three were real lucky and I think we just proved to ourselves that when we play 60 minutes and we believe that things will happen. So yeah, good. I mean, you, yeah, I felt that, uh, you know, obviously we take the lead at the start of the second period and uh, and I don't know what it is. Do we switch off? Do they get lucky goals? What, what is it, Will? I mean, we, 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 we're one up after 80 seconds in the second period and, and four minutes later we're, we're struggling with three behind. If I knew the answer to that, I'd probably be a coach at a higher level than, than this, let alone uh, for, for this team. There's there's no real thing you can put your finger on. Maybe we just switched off there. Um, as Paddy says, it's hard to switch gears. Um, having played a game which, you know, by by all means was pretty, was a challenge game in the end, um, it is hard to just switch gears to to the opposition, such as tonight. Um, but it was good that we we're able to to finally get it going there and you know we'll take that into the weekend and into a massive game next week and uh, I, I just didn't see it coming I mean I, I'll be honest with you through 50 minutes we were trailing 4-1 and that, that, that first 10 minutes of the third period we were we were huffing and puffing I, mean, I thought they were doing the dirty stuff in the in the boards and in the corners really well uh, we needed a spark and of course uh, we, we got the goal and when we got one goal Paddy uh, once we scored and, and certainly once we got the third it was um, it was you know yeah. all hands to the pump yeah that's true well, it's like we said before, it just it wasn't a great game for us today, and uh, yeah, hopefully we won't play like that next week. And we need to be better prepared than than, than this today. And it just it's hard. Like we won, but let's say we were a lucky team today. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the, the question I've got to ask you both drawn a uh, reference to the weekend's game. Obviously, uh, they came short bench. I suspect they're not going to. We, we play them this weekend. We got what you know. We got up a game on uh, just one game this weekend. So the danger is we go down there. We would like to think we get a win down there, and then what do we do? We got Basing Stoke in that. That's the biggest game of the season now for us. Yeah, of course. Um, it's a huge game on Saturday for us. We know at the position we're in, we want to finish in second place, and and a, a win on Saturday should secure that for us. So we'll go in there, and you know I think it'd be um, it'd be easier to. It's a hard place to play, so it'd be easier to get motivated um, because if we're not, we we could find ourselves on the end of of an embarrassing result. And um, they'll have more players. It won't be the same game that it was here on uh, Sunday. So. Yeah, we're not going to look past Invicta, but we're going to try and, and take it up the gears um, and we'll be ready come Wednesday next week. But thanks for joining us. Uh, well done, well on the hat-trick, well done on the win. You need a big plaster over the front of that nose. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>